Welcome. Today's demonstration is going to be on pest ID for the vegetable crops contest. Well, today I get the day off again. I, I imagine that. And I'm going to have a, another guest speaker today, and he will be uh, walking you through uh, how to identify Lepidoptera or, or moths uh, for the vegetable crops contest. I hope you'll enjoy it and listen very carefully because he has a little special treat at the very end of so how to ID moss and larva forms to start off with. I'm going to be starting off with the cabbage looper, which has very triangular shaped wings right here. And it has paint spots on its wings, which is one of the ways to ID it, which could be seen right here and right here. As a larva, it can be seen to have, well, this is not really one, a good example because, because of the alcohol, it's turned very white, but it's usually color of green, a shade of green at least, and it has, it has two pairs of pro legs up front, and that's how you can tell how it, if it's a cabbage looper. The next one we're going to be looking at is going to be a cutworm which you could see by how it is. It's a darker color of brown on its wings. It also has a lot of it has well it has a lot of dark splodges of color right here which are darker brown than the rest of it. And on its larva form it has stripes on here and it has two pro legs up front. The reason why the cutworm is not its a kind of a danger to your plants is because it cuts directly at the roots in its larva form and it just pretty much kills your plant. And on its moth form, it has more of a triangle shaped wing and it's pretty large. The next one we're going to be looking at is the corn earworm which is a lighter color more of a yellow out of all of them and it's pretty much just has some dark spots but other than that it's just a really light yellow color on it and on its larva form it has only also two pro legs and it has some lines some stripes on the sides but other than that it's just a pretty basic white larva. Next one we're going to be looking at is the western yellow striped army worm which to start off its wings are very reflective or glossy and out of all these it is pretty much a basic looking moth which has a beige coloring with some lighter areas and it has basic triangle shaped wings. On its larva form it is most more notable to that you could see that it has has more darker lines, stripes going through the sides. That's one of the reasons why it's called the western yellow striped army worm because it has darker stripes and it's more of a yellow color. Let's have a quick little quiz to see how well you learn from my little demonstration right here. This moth and larva are... Okay, let's go to the next one. This moth, moth and larva are which type? one what type of moth and larva are these and to the last one that we have left what type of moth and larva are these okay now for the answers the two right here are a cabbage are the cabbage loopers. The last two that I gave you are the western striped army worm.
These two right here are the cut one. And the last ones are the corn ear one. I hope you enjoyed that demonstration. But before we close it all up, I wanted to make sure that uh, everything was clarified. I think there was a bit of a confusion on what a pro leg was and uh, what is a true leg. If you look at a caterpillar, it is actually in 10 sections. Four of those sections are typically taken up by the pro leg, pro legs, which are on the posterior or anal end of, of the caterpillar. Normally, they have four of the pro legs on them. They have kind of little hooks on their um, hands or their feet, if you want to call it that. And along the outside, there's little hooks, kind of like Velcro hooks. But they, uh, or if you want to take a look at it, like a crochet needle, that little hook on it, that's what it's like, and that's why they call them crochets. So if you look on the picture just above me, uh, you'll see a little drawing of what true legs are and what pro legs are. Pro legs are the things that actually come in contact with this with the substrate as it's walking. The uh, true legs are things that allow it to manipulate some of the food items or manipulate um, uh, um, some uh, in some of their environment, and they they have actually kind of like nails on them. And that's the true legs or thoracic legs. There's usually two or three of those, and they're near the head or the anterior end of the caterpillar. So it allows them to handle their food, defend themselves a little bit, and and also hang on and cling to things. So I hope that's helped you. And we'll see you in the lab.